So last weekend on Sunday, I brought you an update on Eddie Nketiah and his future for the Ghana Black Stars. He clearly stated in that interview that he was still weighing up his options. Family discussions needed to go on and it got me thinking. This was the same response he gave getting to the latter stages of last season that during the summer he would have discussions with his family before he decides on what to, whether to play for Ghana or whether to play for England. Did he have, not have those discussions? Well, reports are indicating that he's holding out a torch for possibly an England senior national team caller. Yes, a reason for probably their reluctance. We'll delve into it today. We'll also talk about Callum Hudson Odoi. Well, Callum is also another person of interest for the Ghana Football Association to switch nationalities. But Hudson Odoi's situation is quite different as he has already played three games for the three Lions and he had to wait three years because those games he played were during the period when he was under 29 and with the new FIFA regulations he's allowed to play for another country if he has a waiting period of three years. That three years will reach in November and so he if he even wants to switch can only play for Ghana in November but uh, that being said uh, he is also struggling for playing time at his club side. We'll look at when exactly Hudson Odoi uh, will make a decision on whether to play for Ghana or hold out a torch as uh, Ketia is likely doing for England. We'll talk about that and uh, Strasbourg man Alexander Juku after failed attempt to leave the club commit his future to them. As usual, subscribe if you have not. Click on the notification bell to get more updates. Uh, this video is brought to you by a Casa Perico Company Limited. Buy any of the Storm Energy Drink, Awake Drinking Water, and Puma Energy Drink. On the neck of each bottle, there is a code dial star 780 hash and option 2 and enter that code. You could win an all expenses paid trip to Qatar 2022 World Cup and instant prizes. Let's delve into it and talk about Callum Hudson Odoi first and foremost. It's been revealed that he will make a decision on his Black Stars future sooner rather than later. Now, Hudson Odoi is one of the two players who could not give the FA a definite decision on when they will choose to play for Ghana and when they will do that if they do do that. Well, Ghana is still holding out a torch for him. But the issue with Hudson Odoi is that he can only play for Ghana in November, which is the World Cup year. And also, he has another problem of getting regular playing time at his club, Chelsea. As such, he's looking to sort out his future and uh, that is very important because if you are not playing regularly, I don't think the coach will even call you no matter what nationality you decide to play for. Out of favor, Chelsea Wenger Hudson Odoi will be making a decision about his international career sooner than expected. The English born Ghanaian's future at Chelsea seems to be falling apart after he was left out to manage Thomas Tuchel's teams for the opener versus Everton. Hudson Odoi wants to leave Chelsea with Leicester and Southampton interested in his services. Uh, Newcastle United also people of interest. Once his club future is sorted, the 21-year-old will confirm his decision to play for Ghana. Having injected call-ups to the English under-21 team in recent years, although he has three caps for England at senior level, he remains eligible to play for Ghana Black Stars due to the new FIFA rules on nationality switch, which I stated in the beginning of this video. Hassan Odoi could make Ghana's team for the World Cup in November, but he needs to be playing regularly and earn his place, not just by being called Hassan Odoi, a hotshot who has played for England before, played for Chelsea before. It doesn't guarantee you anything. The 2017 UEFA Under-17 World Cup winner had a tough spell last season after injuries ruined his campaign, but had a good preseason prior to the start of the 22-23 season so uh, Hudson Odoi needs to sort out his future that's quite clear and if you don't play regularly at club level and do well you might probably not get a call up from the national team coach no matter who you are so I understand him here sort your future out then you sort your international career too out as well my next story has to do with Eddie Nketiah who as I brought you that intro and stated the fact looks like he's holding out uh, for an England call-up, yes, because you told us in the summer before uh, the season ended that you discussed with your family in the summer. After the summer, the interview I brought you on Sunday was after the summer, 
he is still having those discussions or hasn't had those discussions not quite clear on that front but it's clear that he's stalling and no reasons probably because the three lions might uh, be giving him some sort of pressure or some sort of a convincing of thoughts that he could still get in Ghana targets is still weighing his options in which country to represent at the international level the Arsenal forward is among some Ghanaian players of foreign descent being pursued by the FA uh, to switch nationalities ahead of the World Cup. Indeed, Ketia confirmed in an interview he's yet to decide on playing for Ghana the 2022 World Cup in Qatar. The centre forward indicated he's focused on Arsenal this season. Same answers before the end of the season, same answers after the summer break. According to reports, officials of the FA have held talks with Nketiah and his family over a nationality switch ahead of the World Cup, so there's been connections. The 23-year-old, who is eligible to play for both Ghana, through, Ghana and England through his parents, said in an interview he's yet to make a decision. The English FA are in talks with the Arsenal forward or representing the country of his birth. He holds the record as the highest scorer for the England under 21 is also open to playing for the three Lions. The FA have successfully convinced five other players in Ketia and Hudson Odoi set to decide on where they would play. So that is it there on that front for Eddie in Ketia. Probably the three Lions are giving him a, a sort of a, a vim, they'll call it, and it whispering in his ear that he could still be in the England equation. Hold on, do a la club level. The issue with club level now is that uh, with the arrival of Gabriel Jesus, he was once again likely to get a big part role and not like getting to the end of last season when he was more involved. But let me know your thoughts. Many of you still think he will play. I hope he does come. If he doesn't, then no harm done in my opinion. We'll see what happens. Time will reveal all to us. My final story has to do with uh, Alexander Ajiku. After unfortunately failed attempts to leave his club, he is committed uh, to Strasbourg. Ajiku has been linked with a move away from Strasbourg this summer and has decided to commit to the club ahead of the upcoming season, which kicked off over, over the weekend. I am very well. I am Strasbourg. I will do anything uh, to stay here, he said in an interview. The 27-year-old still has a year remaining on his contract. The Black Stars defender's contract expires next summer. So that has been it for today. Talking to you about Alexander Jukus' future with his club side, uh, Strasbourg. He's committed now after failed attempts uh, to leave the club. Also been talking about uh, Hudson Odoi and Nketiah's future with the Black Stars, of course. Let me know your thoughts in the comments box on everything. I'll see you guys in the next one. Have a great day. Enjoy the rest of the week.